Welcome back to the Mandate of Heaven. So this is a campaign where we're going to be playing Japan, but we're going to be playing Japan a little differently. Instead of going in for multiculturalism and all of that good stuff, um, we are going to allow the Buddhist monks to essentially maintain uh, dictator dictatorial control over the remainder of, uh, of Japanese history as far as we can, if we can. Um, so that of course means that we are gonna have to we're gonna have to go in on uh, China a little earlier. There, there's a lot of them over there, and and we uh, we need that strength to to advance to advance our own game plan at least. Holy cow, they have a giant army though. Uh, so we are gonna need to make our our own economy a little bigger before we before we can fight uh, China. But we we will we will we have the ability to grow pretty quickly right now that we're and we aren't even really maximized on it we'll come back for some more government administration we we do want to get that stuff on the uh on the books soon but we, at the moment we really just need to build our construction more because that's that's the current the current uh bottleneck for us we can be building a lot faster than this if we just had more uh iron and more construction sectors on the board so we're just going to do that all oh, the shogunate and the samurai are starting to come back they, they lost a revolutionary struggle. They've lost several revolutionary struggles, but um, they, they're not permanently removed from power. That's okay. We will, uh, we will get them in due time. All right, we got Romanticism, and now, now we do need Central Archives. Because we have Romanticism, we can start Agrarianism. I'm, I'm happy to work on that. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep building up our our uh, tech because we we that's another thing that's really gonna be holding us back for a while. Um, our innovation is so low and our tech spread is so low that we we are gonna struggle on technology until we can until we can get some universities up and going. So we're building a university in Kansai and in Kanto. Um, in the universities, of course, because we have uh, freedom of conscience, we have access to administrative clergy, which we will continue to use. And now we're down to professional bureaucrats instead of hereditary bureaucrats um, and secular, oh, clerical educators. I'm gonna start building up my my, bureau, my bureaucracy as well, so that way we can switch into at least a level one um, school and a level one health system, because those are gonna be really important. And of course, without agrarianism, uh, yeah, we could we could offer a, an obligation to Russia. That's fine. I think I'm gonna build another five stack of iron in Kanto, and then we can go ahead and we can switch uh, Kansai's construction sector over to uh, iron frame, which is gonna dramatically increase our construction in the world. All right, we got agrarianism. Now the agrarianism on the books, um, we can switch into per capita now, um, which is gonna be supported by the peasants again. Um, so that's not even a bad thing. Um, but yeah, all right. Yeah, we can switch into, switch into per capita. Yeah, we're gonna make a huge, huge iron mine in Kanto. That's gonna, that's gonna be the thing that's gonna help us really, really grow. Cause that's what we want to do. Let's grow as much as humanly possible. I think we want to work with the, uh, petit bourgeoisie more than anybody else. Uh, the Buddhist monks and petit bourgeoisie feel like they would be natural allies cause they agree on so many things. Um, so that's, that's gonna be kind of what we're gonna, what we're gonna aim to do. With central archives around, we will have an awful lot more bureaucracy, um, and the bureaucracy, of course, is going to allow us to add whatever sorts of things we we feel like we need. It's 500 more bureaucracy we're going to add. Wow. Yeah, we'll expand our paper just a little bit. Mm, sure. Yeah, we'll sacrifice a little bit of money uh, to go for to go into per capita instead, because per capita, it right now it's only at plus. Four. 5,000, but the more that we build and the more that we industrialize, the more that um, land-based taxation is going to fall behind because of the nature of land-based taxation. Land-based taxation is going to be largely trying to get money um, from peasants on a per capita sense. Yeah, we have so much, we have so many needs for our bureaucracy because we need to colonize. So we'll, we'll probably, can we hit the per capita? That's what we want to, that's what we want to know. Yeah, after those two wars, the, the shogunate they're just never coming back. They're down. They're down to thirty percent uh, reduction, and they're still only at twelve percent clout. Yeah, you know, we'll go ahead and increase the speed of our construction yet again. Building faster is always the goal. Build, build, build. Central archives unlocked. All right, sweet. So with central archives unlocked, now we can go back um, to doing our our railway research, which is what we really, really desperately needed to be doing. Um, but now we can go ahead and switch over to uh, government administration, which is gonna be huge for us. As soon as we can get per capita taxation done, then we're gonna be able to really, really jam it with our uh, our bureaucracy, because we got a lot of stuff we can do. Oh, sweet, we got it. All right, um, yeah, it's gonna be religious schools. 
Um, because religious schools, it's gonna make our Buddhist monks stronger, and that's kind of our goal. That's in fact literally our goal. <laughs> there they are. They're they're be fruitful and multiply. Can capture the uh the, the theocrat who's in charge of the peasants. I mean, we don't need a theocrat anymore. It's unfortunate because this theocrat, he's gonna give us a lot more approval um with the peasants, but yeah, it's the Ripper. We gotta catch him. Done. Caught him. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so who do we get instead? Oh, we got a different theocrat. Alright. Good deal. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> Do you want to get rid of one theocrat and instead get a different theocrat? It'll be pretty good, I, I promise. Religious schools? No. Academic assistance? Yeah, we're happy to have the, the assistance of our, our academic elite in passing religious schools. Because if we can get religious schools and... Um, all right, well, yeah, after religious schools, we're probably going to want to pick up colonization. Yeah, that's our next our next target. Because we want to get the, want to get those done, but we really did. If you've never used a uh, a school, uh, if you've never used a school, I don't know how you're playing Victoria Three. Um, but schools are really really good. The 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 education access dramatically increases your attack speed by just dramatically increasing your literacy, right? Um, and that's gonna make us. That's the thing that's gonna make us a lot stronger than Ching, which is what we need to do. Because um, right now their their literacy rate is not is not non-existent. Ching, Ching is going to put up a, a real fight, uh, but we'll, we will defeat them. We will defeat them. Is the Honorable Restoration going to bring in uh, the Emperor Kome? All right. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take some, more, uh, some, more pass, some more success chance here on uh, religious schools. Assisting professors. We got a popular playwright. Everyone, everyone is saying, yeah, you know, if we can just, if we can just get some education on the books, then, then that's all Japan really needs to succeed, right? And of course, because now we have agrarianism, we can actually develop uh, like silk plantations and stuff outside of the capital pretty profitably because we're going to get the uh, the aristocrats to pay for it, basically. Of course, by building an awful lot of silk, we are going to shift money around uh, in a way which is going to make the textile mills more profitable. Um, and so this is sort of like a taxation on the, the aristocrats by getting them to build things that largely help help another part of the, the the world more than they help them mechanical tools thank god all right so now we can go down to the railway um and now we need to find somewhere that we're going to put our first steel industry anybody have a whole lot of infrastructure all right we got religious schools too so with religious schools on the books um i think we want to try to find our way down oh oh no we don't have any support for colonial and Buddhist monks are opposed to it. All right, well, we're not going to be able to do colonization immediately then. We're really writing our, our uh, infrastructure cap right now. We're, we're, uh, we're building desperately to try to escape the the issues of, of not having rail by 1853. But we'll, we'll get there. Um, it's just going to be it's going to be a little trickier. I'll pick up charity hospitals as our next thing. And the moment that we can go into colonization, we will. But right now we have uh, Buddhist monks. Uh, IG is a pacifist, which is going to make it a little trickier on that front. We could we could go into state religion. That would make that would make the Buddhist monks even stronger. Oh, thank God we got railway we got a railway tech boost from uh, atmospheric engine. Thank goodness, down to nine months. Sweet. We're down to the point where we're just putting road maintenance on like basically everything because we uh we don't need the taxes so much as we just need the con uh the infrastructure at least until we get our railways online um so this is this is this is gonna be a little trickier a little trickier but we'll get there with the honorable restoration coming in we should be able to uh keep our our industri industrial growth growing uh Security hospitals minus 326 bam let's do it Again, the more laws we can wrap up, uh, we want to just get the Buddhist monks just entirely covered in uh, power. Yes, we continue to grow our growth. If we switch over to gas streetlights, yeah, all right, sure, we'll switch over to gas streetlights. Um, and we should have engines moving around now, so we should be able to switch over to this. We could do we could do military shipbuilding. We could start building a navy. I think that's probably appropriate. Good. So we now we've got all of our all of our tools are on steel. Um, we are building up a navy now because having a strong and active navy navy is kind of critical in order to to be able to grow as Japan. So that's what we're gonna do. I mean, we could take could take a lot of extra money. Thirty percent. All right, we'll take thirty percent. All right, we got railways. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's get some intensive agriculture. Now that we have now that we have our uh, our dip dip our toe into railways we're gonna start throwing rail all over we we really were a little behind in terms of our uh 
a rail development, but we'll fix it. We got we got rail now. The honorable restoration was complete. Ooh, Komei is brought in as the high priest. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, we will we will align ourselves with the industrialists, sort of. But now, of course, we have a different government in in charge. So now we need you love the samurai in government alongside the Buddhist monks. Ah, we got the fall of the samurai like immediately. Absolutely, and the the era of the samurai because that'll remove this Republican leader. Um, let's see who we get instead. We get a, a moderate that should increase our legitimacy by a reasonable amount. It does, in fact, increase our legitimacy by a, re a reasonable amount. Awesome. So we've immediately hit we immediately hit the first part. Um, now we still need uh, to industrialize Japan, and we still need to uh, end Sakoku. We may we may hit industrialized Japan in this episode because I'm going to do another another ten years. Um, so in 1854 we accomplished our restoration here, and we have the Emperor Kome restored as as now the high priest rather than as being a uh, oh and he has state religion oh he's state religion well maybe we will uh, go ahead and switch into state religion. Because that would that would further strengthen the the uh, devout, uh, and we want to make sure that the devout are are the powerful force in Japan, because they are the ones who are are going to be helping the Emperor Kome uh, take control of the government here. Also, might not be a bad idea to switch into um, landed voting at some point. So we got ooh, we got charity hospitals, bam. All right, so we got now we have charity hospitals. We have ooh. We have the ability to, to start expanding again because we have rail, um, so we don't have infrastructure penalties nearly as, as bad. And now, of course, the, the capital being in uh, Kanto, we're going to need to expand our, our rail there as well. Edo has, has taken control. The industrialists are finally starting to become powerful here in Japan in 1855 because um, we, we have been for overseeing uh, with this this little theocratic dictatorship a lot of industrialization, right? We've been building an awful lot of peasants away. We, we now are past like the, the very initial construction phase and we can just really start building now. Um, so we are going to need some more coal, actually. We have charity schools. Are we charity hospitals and religious schools? So we're gonna go ahead and, and, and increase our um, our education even further because I just want to I want to get our literacy rate up to fifty percent, maybe sixty percent as quickly as we can. And if your literacy is over fifty percent, um, then your attraction to uh, the Buddhist monks is gonna go down. Um, on that note, because because people are only going to be able to do political participation in the event that they are the the right. Um, the right religious group. Maybe we should, maybe we should change stuff up in here. Maybe we should go into um, the intelligentsia would oppose it, but the Buddhist monks would be in favor. Yeah, you know what? State religion. Let's go. Yeah. So we we have successfully built up our power base here as Japan. Um, our army is still pretty small, but our our navy is is growing we've built a, a 20 stack that now just needs to hire um and then we should be able to start fighting against china pretty soon um they did lose the opium wars so that's gonna set them back a little while hopefully they uh they have a a civil war or something equivalent soon because if if ching cannot suppress the heavenly kingdom then the explosion can potentially take out like southern China and stuff like that. It usually ends up hitting um, like the western provinces, which is not a big deal. But sometimes you see really impressive explosions in relations to that. Miracle workers. Ah. Ooh. All right. So we can get twenty percent enactment success chance or forty percent enactment. Let's get forty percent enactment success chance. If we can get into a, a state religion in uh, in April. Yeah, April 1856. That would be that would be a heck of a thing because we're we already are starting to pile in the uh, the things to increase Buddhist monk strength. But we we don't have to immediately attack Qing. There are some other things that I would like to pick up along the way. Like for instance, if we can take Angkor Wat, that's going to give a 25 percent Buddhist monks devout strength. Um, so we I would like to take all of Cambodia for ourselves. I think that would be really really helpful. Well, the GDP is going up. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let this uh, episode go all the way through to enacting state religion because I think that would be a really fun uh, capstone for for what we're doing here. So we rather than leaning into becoming more um, more liberalized, uh, Japan has become sort of like a, a theocratic dictatorship, 
uh, we are going to go into enact state religion, but enact state religion is going to be fine because most of the pops are going to be Mahayana here. Um, and so we're going to still be able to, to treat them as, as tolerated because they're going to be Mahayana and Eastern, um, an Eastern culture group, Eastern heritage uh, culture group. And so we're going to share so much overlap with, with China that when we show up and start conquering their stuff, it's not going to, it's not going to make anyone feel like super awkward. You know, we're not here to not fight the UK. We, we should be fighting the UK, right? That I think, I think if we can fight the, the British and expel them from East Asia, that would be, that'd be really fun. All right. We increased our education investment. Awesome. I think we're going to start building up Shikoku. I think that's the uh, next goal here. Let's see. Let's see if we can hit state religion. Give me state religion. Yeah, we got state religion on the books. All right, sweet. Yeah, so now we're going to have a lot of extra a lot of extra power, a lot of extra authority. We can do a lot of extra taxation here. Holy cow, can we do a lot of extra taxation here? Which means that not only can we do a whole lot of extra taxation, but we can also do a whole lot of extra construction. Uh, I'm going to, I am going to, bolster oh we're already bolstering the intelligence the buddhist monks i suppress the intelligentsia we're probably going to keep the intelligentsia on suppression most of the game uh to be entirely honest so we might as well leave them D dedicate those uh 200 points right now rather than later but yeah that's uh that's the second episode here in mandate of heaven um i think this is going to be really fun we're, we're up to 30% from state religion, 10 from religious schools, charity hospitals. We're, we are going to start bringing in an enormous amount of political strength for our, uh, our Buddhist monks. Um, so look forward to that here on, on We Play Games. I'm Walker. Uh, take care.